Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you my favorite brushes in Abyss Paint. This was a requested video that I've had requested a couple times. And since I have a couple of solid favorites, I figured it would be a good idea to film it. So I do have a couple of favorites, most of which are premium ones that I keep saved in the custom section. Of course, the Felt Tip Pen Soft is not a premium one, but it's one that I tend to use a lot for just colouring things in or for doing more plain lines. It hasn't got any texture to it, but it's not pixelated at the ends, and it works really well and smooth. The next one that I really like is the Genius Pen, which is a premium one, so you have to watch an advert to get it, or you can just buy the premium, but I personally just watch the adverts. It's got a really nice texture, and I really like how different it looks on each end, especially if you have a pressure-sensitive screen. It's just a really nice brush, and you'll see most of my drawings have the line out with this brush because I enjoy the texture. Only thing is that it doesn't go up very big, only to 30 pixels, so it's not ideal for colouring in, which is where the felt tip pen comes in. Next is the Blurring Brush one. I'm not sure if this is a premium one or not, but I think it probably is. With this one, it has a really nice texture, and I tend to use this brush to texture areas that I have already coloured. I keep it on a lower opacity, so somewhere around the 50 to 60 area, sometimes even lower, and it just looks really, really nice. I like the effect. If you put it on a higher opacity, then it would work well as a digital painting sort of tool as well. It works especially well for texturing though, because if I colour this area in and then made a clipping layer for it, then you can see we can sort of texture it if we're on a low opacity, and I think it can make it look really nice. Just have to be careful with the colours that you use though. I personally really like the sort of blurry, painty effect that it gives, honestly. Then the last one that I have to talk about is the sputtering brush. Now I really, really like this brush. It is a premium one. It's sputtering one, because there are a couple different sputterings, but this one is my favourite. I use this for any glittery effects, and you can see right here that it would work for freckles or for patterns, but what I really like about this personally is how it looks on a different blending layer mode. So let's just say we made a new layer and put it on add, and we'll go over this area that we have here since it's already there. You will see right here that on the ad, the sputtering one looks so nice, and it doesn't look like there's a pattern either when you do it, which is really nice, even though there is a pattern. It's just randomized enough that you wouldn't think there's a pattern if you looked there. And you can lower the opacity of the ad layer to make it look different, and just personally, I really love this brush. It changes depending on what color you use as well, obviously, with the ad, so it can add some real depth and texture. If you go with just white, then it can be super duper duper bright. But if you go with a really bright color, like the most saturated version of that color, it won't be as bright, but it will still have this really funky looking effect. And I like to just layer over things with this until it looks sort of like this, and it's just really fun to do. Those are my four favorite pens. There are a bunch of other really nice ones, but these ones stand out the most to me. And they're my favourite to use, and I tend to use them in like pretty much every drawing. If you guys could tell me your favourite brushes, then that would be pretty cool. It's interesting seeing how everyone likes different things and uses different tools when they draw. Thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!